All right, thanks, Miles. Now to this, looking ahead to this weekend, Sunday begins daylight saving time. We spring forward one hour to get an extra hour of sunlight in the evening. As if you were watching earlier, here is my complaint. Okay. Okay. So excited <laughs> about the extra down. hour of sunlight. I love when it gets darker later. But I work Sunday mornings. I'm the Sunday morning anchor. I know. And then and I work Mondays. And so I'm already tired all the time. So then both of us losing that extra hour, it's going to be tough. Yeah, but it's different when you wake up on Sunday. I know. I'm sorry. I don't make right. the rules. A lot of other people probably feel the same way, but hey, maybe you like it as well. But either way, experts are once again calling for an end to the seasonal time changes. Lawmakers in Congress introduced a bill not too long ago to end it, but that bill is being held up in committee. Yeah, this is always happening. Michael George has more on why ditching daylight saving time could be better for your health and safety. Isabel Datis isn't thrilled about turning the clocks forward and losing an hour. Does it mess with your sleep schedule? It does mess with my sleep, my sleep. Like I go to sleep later and I wake up later, so I'm usually late. With more and more research suggesting daylight saving time can have dangerous and serious effects on health and safety, the American Academy of Sleep Medicine is advocating for year-round standard time. One, it removes the switching of our circadian rhythms twice a year, which is very difficult for our bodies to adjust to. And number two, standard time is aligned with our biological clock. There's bright light in the morning and less light in the evening. Dr. Jocelyn Chang says when we're exposed to less light in the morning, it makes it more difficult for us to wake up. And more light in the evening makes it more difficult to fall asleep. The AASM cites research showing the springtime change can lead to increased risk of motor vehicle accidents, medical errors, heart attacks, and strokes and mood disturbances. But some lawmakers want to instead make daylight saving time permanent. The Sunshine Protection Act would mean longer, dark mornings. I love it being brighter when I wake up because I'm a school teacher. So when I wake up, I don't like it being dark because I have to get my kids to school and I'm dropping them off in the dark. As we adjust to daylight saving time, experts advise. When you wake up in the morning, make sure that you're exposed to bright light. Sunlight's ideal, but any bright light at all is better than none. That bright light will help set your internal clock to the new time and help manage your sleep and alertness. Michael George, CBS News, New York.